Quite a few upsets already in this World Cup. Now, before that match, in their group photo, the German players all chose to cover their mouths with their hands to suggest they'd been gagged. Uh, what was the reaction to that protest? What was it about as well? Well, uh, Angela, this uh, obviously is an ongoing uh, row with FIFA over the fact that seven European teams were planning on wearing a, a rainbow One Love armband uh, to uh, uh, support, uh, show their solidarity for LGBTQ uh, rights with, amid this ongoing uh, uh, row uh, over um, rights here for, uh, for LGBT uh, people in Qatar, whether fans would be welcome here during the tournament or not, where homosexuality uh, is illegal in this country. Uh, it was quite a remarkable gesture from the Germans. Obviously, all these European teams uh, pulled out from wearing these armbands at the last uh, minute because FIFA had suggested that the captains would be penalised and maybe even potentially get a yellow card. So all European teams uh, made a U-turn on wearing those armbands. And uh, a remarkable gesture from the Germans. The interior minister herself was wearing the armbands that uh, the players had not were not wearing. And uh, a rather remarkable state statement was released uh, by the Germans after that gesture with them covering their mouths as they t uh, pose for a team photo. Uh, the Germans said, we wanted to use our captain's armbands to take a stand for values that we hold in the German uh, team. It said it, they said it wasn't about making a political uh, statement, that they said uh, human rights are non-negotiable uh, for them, and this was not a political statement, but very strong words from the Germans and a strong statement from them, perhaps the strongest statement we've seen so far uh, because of uh, the fact that the European teams haven't been able to wear this uh, uh, armband as they had hoped that the German interior minister uh, just ad was uh, sitting next to FIFA president Gianno Infantino. So a very uh, strong uh, stance from them and the strongest stance we've seen so far. Uh, we've obviously seen Denmark who are wearing um, a uh, protest kit as they call it, uh, uh, also commenting on human rights here in Qatar, but a very strong stance uh, here from the Germans. Okay, thanks very much, Selena. Selena Sykes there in Doha.